Hello everyone. Welcome back into Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah Presents, another very beginner crochet tutorial. Now in today's tutorial, we're going to be chaining stuff like we did last time, but also adding to it and uh, doing something called a single crochet. That's right, more than just a chain, it's what we need. I'm gonna start off again with a slip knot, just like we do every single time. Links below to the whole playlist here of these. I'm going to chain 10 because we're just doing a little sample here. So we'll start off with one, two, yarn over, pull through, that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. <clears throat> That's what we had before last week when we uh, chained up 10. Great, what can a chain of 10 get me? Not much, but we wanna build on that. Oftentimes you will see people say, yarn over, chain one, and turn your work. Well, in this case, there's not a lot to turn, but when I work into that very first row of chains, when I'm doing a single or a double or any of the myriad things that we will do to the simple chain when we go along, I do like to turn it over. And you see on the front, you've got these little V's. Though that's each stitch. On the back, I see some people refer to these as camelbacks, these little bitty bumps on the back. These do represent each stitch as well. That little bump there, this one here, this one here, each one is for a stitch. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to pull some more yarn out so I don't pull the, the skein off my little table here. I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to work into the second chain from the hook. There's the first one, that's that first bump. We're going to skip that. We're going to stick our hook right underneath there. That's the only one we want to grab. Yarn over, pull through that. And right now we're left with two chains on two loops on the hook yarn over and pull through both of those that is a single crochet i'm going to do it again usually the first one on a first chain it's a little awkward and you know it gets a little weird to hold with your hands so we're going to stick the hook through that next little back bump yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through the two that are currently on the hook. There, that's two. I'm gonna do it again. There's the next little bump, that's the next chain. Push it through, pull up your loop, yarn over and pull through the two that are on your hook, just leaving that one. Now, if you see what we're doing here, we are making a single crochet Look at the top and you've got that nice little V chain going again for the each stitch that you make. Okay, we'll do a few more. We'll get to the end here. I'm gonna go into that back bump, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. We'll do it again. Go through that back bump pull up your loop, yarn over, and pull through both loops on your hook. Okay, go through that back bump, pull up your loop, yarn over, and pull through both of the loops on your hook. Go through that back bump again, pull up your loop, yarn over, and pull through both of the loops on your hook. And look, we're almost done. We're going to go into that next back hump, pull through, yarn over, and pull through both of the loops on your hook. Last stitch in the line going to push through that back hump, pull up your loop, yarn over, 
and pull through both of the loops on your hook. See that? Now that, oops, sorry about the bump there, is starting to look like something. We have a line of single crochets. If we turn it over, we can see each of those V stitches on top. Each one of those is a stitch. It's a chain. Now, usually when you get to the end of a row, if you're going to the next row, you're going to single crochet one stitch, which doesn't count as anything, turn your work, because we're always working right to left when we're right-handed people. We're going to do some more single crochets. We are going to go into that first stitch. See the two? We always go into, unless we get into some other stitches later, which we will, but you're starting off, you're going into the top of that V. That is one stitch that you're going through. Put that through there, pull up your loop, and then yarn over and pull through the two that are on your hook. And just like before, on the very first chain, you go through those little back bumps because it makes the bottom look prettier when you're done. But on these, we're going to go through both of those V's. And if you have a hard time seeing what it is, because if you're looking from this side, you may not be too sure about where you're going. Turn it up and look at it. Spin your stuff around. Make it work for you. Okay? So again, we're going to put our hook through that V right there pull up a loop so that we have two on our hook again, yarn over and pull through those two. And like I said in an earlier video, I don't hold my yarn for tension like this like most people do because if I do that for more than a few seconds it actually starts to really hurt in my hands for my situation. If you would rather do that to keep your tension the same, that's fine. I control my tension in other ways with my hand. Okay, we're going to do this again. We're going to go through that V, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through both loops on the hook. We're going to do this all the way through to the end. Feel free to pause, stop, put it in slow motion if you have to, but just try do it along with me. You got this, okay? Going through that V again pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through both loops on your hook. We're going to go again through the V, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through both loops on your hook. And of course, drop it like I just did. No, you don't have to really do that. It happens. I drop stuff all the time. I drop, my stitches fall out of my hook. I have to pick them up. Sometimes the cat interferes. Hey, you know, life happens. We're going to do it again. We're going to go through that V there in the top, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops on your hook. Got another one done. Look how we're building there. Going to put go through that V again, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through both of the loops that were on your hook. Go through that V, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through both of the loops on your hook. Now we're getting towards the end. The end can be a little bit wonky. Okay, We see that one V though. We're going to start there. Go through that V, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both of the loops on your hook. See, we have one left to do. This one, because it's a little wonky and a little bent, you may have to finagle. Go through one part of that V, get in there and get the other part of your V. Or like me, struggle with it. It's okay. There we go. We're going to pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both of the loops on your hook. And there we go. We have got single crochet, two rows of it now, and our chain. I think we're building on stuff now, because I do. 
this is how we actually start crocheting. And you know, most amigurumi, you see that the people are making like little bears and cute little stuffies and stuff, are done with that very stitch. You can go through and if you wanted to, never learn another actual stitch and just make amigurumis, but I know you want to learn more. We will be doing more with more basic stitches like this. I am a beginner crocheter just trying to help my other fellow beginners learn how to take this and not be afraid of it. I'm going to pull that sucker out, get my hook out of there. And now, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to frog it and watch it all disappear. And it's doing everything in reverse that we just did. And you know what? That's okay. Oh yes, all the way down to the chain, all the way down to the slip knot, and boom. Thanks for coming by. A little beginner tutorial here on Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah. Um, these will be coming out as far as I can make it once per week. And um, we'll just keep going. We'll keep building. I'm a beginner. Learn with me. This is accessible to anyone. And I hope that you give it a try if you haven't already. Thank you. Please check the description box below. Hit the like button if you haven't already and subscribe if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. See you soon.